What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I got another what sold over the weekend video. This weekend was a little different because I made more sales on eBay than I did on Poshmark. Now for the past couple of weekends I've been killing it on Poshmark and I've been making way more sales on that platform as opposed to eBay. But this weekend things have changed but overall I'm just glad that I'm still making sales because as you guys know the summer slowdown is in full effect and a lot of us resellers are not making as much sales as we used to what we usually do during the year so I suggest that some of you guys just try to prepare more for the fourth quarter instead of just worrying about sales for right now but in the meantime I'll share some of the stuff that have been selling for me and hopefully that inspires some of you guys to go out and get it and just you know just source better because at the end of the day people are still shopping you just gotta have stuff that they actually are looking for so without further ado Let's get into it. All right, y'all. So first thing up is this pair of Wrangler hiking shorts. And I purchased these shorts for about $3.25 a piece. And I got these from Goodwill about three or four months ago. And I purchased about 15 of these. Some were in black and some were in gray. And they were various different sizes. And all the black ones have finally sold out. So I have maybe two or three gray ones left. So if you guys come across Wrangler shorts, definitely pick it up, especially if it's brand new with tags. And I believe these came from Target because some of you guys may know Target does supply Goodwill with a lot of their um, stuff that just didn't sell in actual Target stores. Next is a pair of Prana jeans and I usually sell Prana jeans anywhere between 20 and 30 bucks. And I had these listed for $25 and they sold for 20 bucks and I purchased these for $6. So once again, not a ton of profit, but these were a very quick flip because I purchased these maybe four or five days ago and they sold already. Next is this pair of Allen Edmonds wingtips and these were in really good condition as you guys can see. And I purchased about five or six pairs of Allen Edmonds shoes uh, maybe last month and I made sure this was in a trip to the thrift video. So if you guys are interested in checking out that video, I'll put that in the cards and the description below for you guys. But I picked up like five or six of these and they were all in the same size. So I'm pretty sure they came from the same person. But the interesting thing about this sale is the fact that I originally had these listed on eBay for about two to three weeks and I wasn't getting any offers or any watches for that matter. So I decided to cross list these to Poshmark and they ended up selling on Poshmark first. So the surprising thing for me is the fact that I usually don't sell a ton of dress clothing like dress shoes or blazers or anything like that on Poshmark. But I'm starting to see that dress shoes and stuff like that are finally starting to sell a little more often for me on Poshmark. If you guys have similar experiences, definitely drop a comment below. Let me know if dress shoes and menswear are selling for you more on Poshmark. Next up is this Affliction shirt, and I've been picking up a ton of Affliction t-shirts lately. I've been finding them almost every time I go to the thrift store, and they've been selling for me for about 16 to 20 bucks a piece, and I've even been selling some of them as a bundle, uh, maybe two or three at a time for some people. So if you guys come across these Affliction t-shirts, still pick them up. Don't expect a ton of profit, but also don't try to price it too high because the market is definitely flooded. And last but not least in terms of Poshmark sales is this pair of Adidas Iniki Boost in a size nine and a half. And I believe I have one size nine left in this colorway. And after that, I'll be all done in the blue. And I think I have four left in the white colorway. And for those of you that are new to the channel, I purchased about 40 pairs of these sneakers, some in blue, some in white. And I've been selling them for about 65 to $69. And lately, I've been selling all of them for my full asking price of 69 bucks. So I made a ton of profit on these shoes. This is probably my best flip of 2019 so far. So if you guys are interested in learning how to do some outlet shopping, doing some flips like that, I'll definitely link that video as well so you guys can check that out. Moving right along to the eBay sales is this Canali Brown Blazer. And this is actually a three button blazer. And I had this in my inventory for well over a year. I had this cross listed on Poshmark as well and it just did not sell on either platform. And it finally sold on eBay for 30 bucks. So if you guys come across Canali, still pick it up. It's just one of those stuff that doesn't sell as fast as I would like it to. But to be honest, I probably should have taken some better pictures, maybe put it on a mannequin because the flat lay photos for this blazer just didn't do it any justice. Next up is a pair of pants from Cool, and Cool is one of my favorite brands to sell. I purchased about five or six pairs of Cool hiking shorts from a couple Goodwills over the past few days, and they have all been selling for about 40 bucks a piece. This one sold for 40 bucks with free shipping, and this one sold for 42 bucks um, with shipping included as well. So if you guys come across Cool, definitely pick them up because I've been selling these like crazy, 
and the pants sell a lot faster than the shirts do, at least for me. Next up is a pair of Skechers Shape Ups, and these sold for 35 bucks with shipping. And if you come across these Skechers Shape Ups, they usually they used to sell for a lot more profit, but now they don't sell as much as they used to because the market is just flooded. But these were in really good condition and in a really good size, size 11. So they didn't sell as quickly as I would have liked to, but they did sell for you know 35 bucks with 12 dollars shipping. So if you guys come across Skechers Shape Ups, definitely pick them up. Next up is an Under Armour Heat Gear Polo. And like I tell you guys all the time, these golf polos have been selling for me like crazy. And this one sold for $23. Bucks. Um, heat Gear Under Armour stuff usually sells anywhere between $23 and $30 bucks for me, depending on the style. So if you guys come across these, definitely pick it up. Just don't expect a ton of profit. Next up is a Foot Joy Polo. And this one was in kind of a funky color. That's why I didn't price it as high as I usually would price uh, Foot Joy Polos. But this one sold for $18.99. And this one was in really good condition. I had this listed for maybe four weeks. So that's probably took a lot longer than to sell than I usually would sell these. But like I said, the colorway was a little different. So this one took a lot longer to sell. Next up is this pair of North Face hiking shorts. And I had these listed on eBay and on Poshmark. But it sold here on eBay first. And I only listed these for 20 bucks, And it sold within about three or four days on eBay. So if you guys come across these North Face shorts, definitely pick it up. It doesn't sell for a ton of profit, but it usually does sell pretty quickly. Next up is another golf polo shirt, and this one was from Peter Millar. And this one was in a really good size, size double XL. The only downside to this one is the fact that it had a stain on it. And I tried washing this out two or three times, and those stains just did not come out. So I priced it for 20 bucks with free shipping, and it sold within about three or four days. So if you guys come across Peter Millar Summer Comfort, definitely pick it up it's one of one of those brands that's selling for me really fast during this time of the year but since i did have some stains on this i had to let it go for pretty cheap and last but not least in terms of ebay sales is this pair of adidas eqt and these usually sell for about 60 bucks for me and i got these brand new with tags from a buffalo exchange so if you guys have places like buffalo exchange or crossroads or play-dohs in your area definitely source at those areas because they usually have some decent prices on their stuff and this one was only $27. So I was able to make some decent profit considering the fact that I sold these for 60 bucks plus $12 shipping. All right, y'all, that's all I have for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed that one, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you wanna check out my eBay 101 series, especially for those of you that are brand new to eBay, I'm actually creating a whole series on my Patreon page. So check that out for more information and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Cause I'm